Greetings, brothers, and welcome back to the latest and the greatest of the Black Man Can Men's Channel, DBMCMC. I'm your host, Frederick Harper, QKA The Messenger, and welcome back to another episode. Brothers, thank you for all the support. Yo, I'm getting hollered at in the street like Black Man Can. I love it. I love it. We building something here, and I appreciate the support. Continue to like, share, go to the YouTube channel and subscribe there. That's where I put the full videos. I've been spoon feeding y'all because a lot of us ain't got the attention span for nine, 10 minutes, especially the younger brothers. But I'm spoon feeding y'all with these 30 second, one minute clips to get y'all to come on over and watch the full thing. Uh, I'm gonna start doing that on a regular basis, give y'all the excerpts first, and then I'm gonna drop the full video later that evening. With that being said, the topic I wanna deal with today is gonna be dealing with modern versus traditional relationships. As black men, we know what each one entails, but you have to have a certain mindset if you want either one. If you're dealing with a traditional relationship, you're gonna have to be in position to carry everything. And if you're dealing with a modern relationship, you're gonna have to understand that with money, with work, with influence, that is gonna give the woman more power and you're gonna have to compromise just as much, okay? So when you do 50-50, you're gonna be splitting power, probably 80-20, and you getting the 20. But that's okay, brothers. I just want you to know what you're getting into before you start. So without further ado, we taking the game on the road. As I say always, my game travels. But most of us got a little nine to five or something we gotta do and I'm no different. But we gonna chop it up and we gonna hop into it right now. I tell y'all brothers over and over, you don't get what you deserve. You get what you earn, okay? So if you're looking for a traditional woman, you are gonna have to be earning that. You're gonna have to be the man that provides more, that takes care of more. If you want a woman who's gonna, a woman can't, you can't make 50,000, your woman makes 50,000, and you expect her to have a hot plate for you, a clean house when you come home, have the children all laid down in bed. But why? Because she's been working 40, 50 hours too. So that expectation out of men is unrealistic. Just like it's unrealistic for a woman to think a man who's paying all the bills is not gonna look for a certain level of submission, a certain level of femininity. A lot of these women out here think that they're gonna have their cake and eat it too. It works both ways. So brothers, if you're looking for the traditional woman, you're going to have to be able to cover most of the overhead. And if you're dealing with the modern woman, you're going to lose a little bit of that femininity because she has stepped into the male masculine zone. She's making money, she's working 40, 50 some hours a week, so she can't be Holly Homemaker, okay? And when brothers try to do that, uh, you know, I know a lot of women out there that are making a lot of money and they'll say, look, I look hey, I want a man that's just gonna uh, be a Mr. Mom. That never works, never works because it is not the natural order for a man to be at home taking care of the children and this woman is bringing home the bacon. Maybe he can live with that, but the woman will not respect that eventually. So like I said, the traditional versus the modern woman is what we are dealing with in our society. And the modern woman has got the concept that she doesn't need a man. And our children are suffering because they're being maintained rather than being raised. It's a man with daughters, with siblings. I am all for women doing well educationally, doing well in the workplace, creating careers, creating businesses, doing awesome things in society. I applaud women. And I am surrounded by awesome, beautiful, talented, courageous women. So there is no problem with that. But I wanna preface with that because what I'm gonna tell you is that brother, if you are looking for a traditional woman, you're going to have to be more of a traditional man. You cannot be the kind of man who has no job, no options, no finances, and say, I'm looking for submission and control over the woman. That's just not logical. It's not rational. And I tell brothers all the time, man, yo, look, the wood is free, but the fruit costs. So when you're out there dealing with a woman, I would tell you, I would recommend the most, man, if you don't have uh, good credit, you don't have any money, you don't have any job, you don't even need to be dealing with women because that is something that comes along with a woman. A woman is going to need security and provision and protection. Even the ones who are making a, a, a good living for themselves. Kind of reminds me of what Kevin Samuel used to ask women, rest his soul. He would always say, if you have a child, what percentage of the bills are you willing to pay for? And they would always dance around that question. 
oh, you know, I, I'm willing to do 50, 50, or I'm willing to pay 20 or 30%. But if you truly ask a woman, most women, not all, but most women, what amount do they want to pay of the bills when becoming a mother? It's going to be nothing. Nothing. Zero. So if you're a man who wants to truly be the traditional man, the old, you know, Archie Bunker, I take care of everything, I want submission, you're going to have to pay the cost to be the boss, brother. And if not, there's going to have to be a lot of compromises. That's just what it is, okay? You can't be making 50 grand, your woman makes 50 grand, and you're talking about you want to come home to a hot plate, a clean house, children taken care of and put to bed. That's not how it works. So you have to pay the cost to be the boss. You have to bring to the table what it is that you're expecting in return for the woman. Let me tell you something else, brother. As men, I'm going to tell you this straight up. If you don't have a job, if you don't have a place to rest your head, if your credit is messed up, you shouldn't be dating anybody. Okay? There's an old saying, and I'll put it in words that won't get too uh, flagged down. But hey, the wood is free. The fruit costs money. So, brother, when you're dealing with a woman, you're going to have to be able to have some level of financial security. You're going to be able to, you have to be able to provide something outside of just the wood. The wood ain't enough, okay? Just like we say with women, yo, the fruit ain't enough. you got to bring something more, each gender. So, but, but we dealing with just what the man has to do here. And I tell y'all all the time, brother, if you are not on your purpose, then you are going to lose with women. There's nothing more sexy than a man that's on his purpose and doing stuff. And there's nothing more of a turnoff than a man who's being shiftless and doing nothing. And that's not my opinion. That's women. Women will tell you that. A lot of women who have taken on the modern view are basically saying, Look, I'm making money now. I don't need the man. And when it comes to you as an individual, they're right. They do not need you as an individual. But if the woman's plan and your plan is to raise a family, you need each other, okay? You cannot raise a child by yourself. You can maintain a child, but you cannot raise a child by yourself, man or woman. And the problem in our community is we are the highest single parent household. We are the lowest in terms of marriage. And what it is, is that a lot of women, I've been watching these videos, a lot of women have uh, associated money with pure success. And just because you're making money does not mean you are successful. Successful in relationships, successful in parenting, there are other forms of success that are not tied to money. And this whole uh, image that is being sold to our young women is not correct. Your power is in creating an environment that is going to nurture and nation build as far as the woman and if she doesn't want to do that brother this is what i tell you you have to stop being so lustful you have to stop thinking with your penis because at the end of the day once you plant the seed the woman is in control and if you have a woman that is thinking on a career level to the point where she thinks she doesn't need you because she has a job you are messing with the wrong one and usually they find out sooner or later that it can't be done as easy as they think. I remember Chris Rock said it best. You can drive a car with your feet. That don't mean it was meant to be done. So you can raise a child on your own, but you're, but you're not really raising them. Daycare is raising them. Big mama's raising them. The social media is raising them. The streets and their friends and peers are raising them. If you are at work all day, if you are uh, chasing the bag, there's always going to be an exchange. As they say, the opportunity cost. I learned that back in business class. You are always going to have to sacrifice something in order to gain something in return. If you're going to get the bag, you're going to have to give up eight, nine hours a day. That's eight, nine hours a day that you're not with your children. Now, men have been taught socially to do that. We go out, we go work, we get the bag, the woman is there to take care of the child. That's the traditional environment. The modern environment is now the woman is out working. She's making her money by choice or by situation. And what happens is our children are having to deal with the blowback of that. And it's, it's just so uh, sad to see because we need to get back to a place where we as a family prioritize the union. And until we get there, we're gonna keep seeing the same pattern of men and women 
being dysfunctional, treating each other with uh, devaluation, and not loving each other and their children the way they're supposed to. See, a lot of times the mistake we as brothers make is we hear this line and we think that it applies to every relationship and it doesn't. I hear the term, I want somebody to build with. Let me give you a news flash. My whole life, I can tell you one thing for sure. If there ain't no money involved, ain't shit getting built, okay? You build by putting yourself in position to win. You build by working on your craft, working on your trade, putting time in at the job to better yourself. You build by working on building a standalone version of yourself that is already completed. And then you come to the woman ready to rock and roll. We can't go with this whole concept of 50-50 anymore as men. We've seen what it looks like. We are not getting what we want. That means you have to change how you see things and change your way about going about doing them. So remember that. If you want a traditional situation, once again, you must be a traditional man. So brother, with all that information being given to you, I was just trying to give you a few different points about the modern relationship with a woman versus the traditional relationship. Men want the traditional relationship, but you can't get it if you're not in a position to do it and handle it. Women want the modern relationship, but they're not gonna get the traditional treatment if they are in a modern situation. You're going to have to be coming up with more money for yourself. The man is not going to be able to give you as much, but you're both going to have more resources together. And there are pros and cons to each one. I have experienced both. OK, I was a man who got married at a young age and I understood that when I got in, there was going to have to be somewhat of a modern situation. Now, as an older man, as a more established man, I want more of a traditional situation. To each his own, they both can work, but you have to find the kind of partner that's gonna meet you and uh, be that kind of woman for you that you need, or else you're gonna find yourself in a, in a predicament that you don't wanna be in. And it's gonna take a toll not only on the woman, but on you and on the children. So brothers, I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you are listening. These are mistakes that have been made. These are things that can be learned from. And I want everybody to be on point and come into a relationship with your eyes wide open and understanding what you're going to need to do as a man to get what you want from the relationship and to be able to be in a position where you can win. That being said, brothers, continue to support. If you like this content and anything like it, please subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. The BMCMC, Black Man Can Men's Channel. Also on my other network that I put here, the other platforms, please subscribe there as well. We're going to keep it cooking. Brothers, stay blessed. And remember, most importantly, that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Until then, brothers, be safe.